Hello, my name is Chris Kozup and I'm a senior manager here with the Cisco team for Mobility Solutions. And I'm excited today to talk to you about a new announcement that we have uh, around 802.11n and specifically taking 802.11n mainstream. Now, Cisco's been within the 11N market here for almost a year and a half, and we've sold approaching almost a quarter million uh, access points, 11N access points, which is really a great complement to our over 6 million access points sold more broadly to date. Now, certainly 11N has been adopted by a, a large number of customers and, and a broad diversity of customers, but really with our announcement today, we're making 11N really mainstream and making 11N ready for business. Now, the announcement that we're bringing is around the Cisco Aeronet 1140 series access point. This is a new platform that we're delivering to market, and you can see by looking at the platform that it's really a sleek design that's really optimized for simple deployment. Now, a key point of this access point is that it supports full 802.11n performance uh, with full security using standard power over Ethernet. Now, that's a game changer for Cisco, and certainly relative to our competitors, we're really looking to ensure that as our customers adopt 802.11n technology, they can do it in the most easiest and simple way. Now, the other thing that we're announcing as part of our announcement today is a new technology called Cisco M Drive. Now, M stands for motion. And of course, motion is Cisco's broader strategy around how we can deliver solutions and applications in a mobile context. But what M Drive provides is a simple, effective way to adopt 802.11n technology. Now, part of M Drive is a new feature called Client Link. Now, Client Link is a great technology and really an innovation that only Cisco has within the market today. And what Client Link provides is performance improvements for not only 11n clients, but also 802.11a and g clients. And what we've seen in testing is that with Client Link technology that is supported on both the 1140 series and the Cisco Aeronet 1250 series, uh, Client Link technology improves the performance, improves the throughput of existing AG devices by up to 65%. Now that's a really great news because ultimately what that means for the customer is that you don't have to worry about upgrading your existing AG devices. Effectively, what we're providing here is investment protection, extending the life of your existing AG devices, uh, but also ensuring that with ClientLink, we're able to optimize the performance of 11N devices as well. Because quite frankly, we believe that coexistence of 11N and 11A and G devices is going to be happening for some time. And unlike other solutions that are on the mar market that really just favor the performance of 11N, but actually uh, uh, handicap the performance of uh, legacy clients, Cisco is ensuring that not only do we optimize the performance of 11N devices as they connect into a Cisco 11N infrastructure, but we also optimize the performance of AG devices as well. And that technology, again, is client link. So with the combination of the Cisco Aeronet 1140 series access point and client link technology as part of our broader M drive uh, technology for ease of deployment, ease of adoption of 11N, Cisco is really making it more effective and easier for you, the customer, to move forward with an investment in 802.11N technology. And ultimately what that investment will bring to you is the ability to do more with less allowing you a platform uh, for next generation wireless that will not only meet your application needs today, but expand and grow with you into the future to ensure that really you're able to deliver a business ready network combination of wired and wireless, uh, allowing you to meet the needs of uh, your mobile user uh, and of your broader portfolio of business applications. So for more information, check out cisco.com uh, and the, the link is cisco.com forward slash go forward slash wireless or cisco.com forward slash go forward slash 802.11 and forward slash.